Hi guys, it's MC here. Hey subscribers, Edith Lynn here. And welcome to part two of our best video games of all time, in our opinions. Yep. So, we're going to continue off where we left off. Off, and since Ethan went first for the last part, it's my turn to go first. Alright, so look away. And we're going to be switching off during questions as well. So, I'm going to have Ethan guess a couple, and I'm going to have you guys only guess a couple, and then some of them I'll do together. Yeah. Alright. So, for this first one, though, though, I'm going to have you guys take a guess. See how well you know me. Okay. So, this is a, a this game, game which is number 19 on my list. It's a game that I didn't play as my first Sonic game, game, but I like one of the zones from the game so much that I assist over it. <coughs> Time's up! The answer to that one is Sonic number uno. And it was Sonic. <laughs> so, yeah, of course. So, so, Sonic 1. The reason why I like that game is, well, it's kind of obvious. Da 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 da. What? Uh, for the last time, I can't handle that drum! <laughs> hey, you did a I'm really feeling it earlier. Ah, uh, you just said it. <laughs> It also made me feel good hearing that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> like other than that zone, I also do love play, uh, uh, play uh, in the game in general. Although Marvel Zone does give me some trouble with after one. <coughs> Yikes. Uh, other than that, though, the rest of the zones are pretty good. Well, that one in Labyrinth Zone. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, as a, uh, Andy from Ainstop said, impossible zone. Oh, wait, no, scratch that. Uh, I think that was, hold on, hold on, thinking, thinking, thinking. Mm. Yeah, shoot, 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 shoot. He's the guy that does the glitch picnic series, trying to remember his name. Uh, but he's the one that sa said that, and that doing one of his Sonic 1 glitch picnics. Uh, we'll agree with him. It is the impossible zone! Seriously, Shaka, what were you thinking with that water stage? Nice! <sighs> Doesn't sound pretty. Well, I dare say that's that one's chemical plant zone. Okay, what about. Okay, compared to Crash Bandicoot's Storm Acid, which one's tougher, that one or this one? They're both impossible. Uh, time out, folks! Be right back. Okay, folks. As I said the question, like Beast Coots just mentioned about that stage, a zone I mean, which one is more tough? This zone or the Crash Bandicoot Storm Ascent? They're both impossible. They're both impossible because they're the both toughest zones that I ever seen. Ugh, I imagine if I play that one too, it will rage quit if I play those. Okay, back. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so hold up. So, in case you want, wondering if we're compare, if we're gonna be comparing that one to Labyrinth Zone, Labyrinth Zone. Ooh. I mean, Crash at least have a decent chance, but Labyrinth Zone, I ain't really have to worry about that countdown meter, and just the human it brings, uh, just makes me panic. Yeah, for Crash Bandicoot, you don't have to worry about the, the, the t countdown at all. All you have to worry about is to jump off from the obstacles, the stairs, the hogs. The oh, man. That's a nightmare. Yeah, as you can tell, Ethan doesn't like it. <laughs> that one's probably the second least favorite next to Butch to Nowhere. And good, the good thing is, it wasn't, for, it wasn't for them thinking about putting that stage. Oh, everybody will be like, Rage quitting, rage quitting, rage quitting. If that was exist in the Crash One, Crash One. Oh yes. But is it does exist in Remaster? Unfortunately. Uh, you have to have guts to have that stage. Anyways, back to Sonic One. Other than that, the whole gameplay and everything is great for Sonic starting out. So yeah. Okay. 
Next one we're going to talk about. Let me look away. Uh, uh, wait. Now this one is a tie between two games. That are on Switch. And you could, and once based off of the series you like, once based off of the series we both like. Okay. I'll give you three guesses. Alright, for all, both of us. Both of the fans and me. Uh, yep. I'll let the so fans go first. How are Time is up. Let's go to the rally. See what you guys think. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Add ideas. Yes. But they may or may not be right. All right, you buddy. Well, your guesses. I'll give you three. All right. So you said based on the game I like and based on what we both like. Hmm. Let's see. Hyrule Warriors. <sighs> okay, that's one. The, the thing is, what I'm guessing is, uh, let's see, let's see, um, was it Farm Warriors 2? Ding, 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 ding! So both of them are in there, technically. Y yep. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Yep, it's Five Warriors and Idol Warriors. The Warriors games are something that me and Ethan, uh, me and Ethan were first exposed to thanks to Hyrule Warriors mainly, because that's the one we played first and beat twice. Yep. Yeah, I will say that Final Boss for Ganondorf, though. Yeah. But compared to that one versus Final Warriors, the Final Boss. <laughs> The Chaos Dragon. You could call it Chaos Dragon because that's easy to pronounce. The Chaos Dragon? No, oh, that was chaotic. It was too easy. Chaotic you call easy. Call, you call that chaos, chaos? Chaos? I call it the easiest dragon to beat. Yeah, if, I'm, if I'm awakening and fate's giving more trouble than that. I say Grima should be more chaos than that one. Ow, wolf! That's what Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, I'm just saying. Yeah, but Ganondorf really gave me an even to stru struggle. Uh, I remember trying that one so many times, fixing that stupid lightning. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. Uh, but, yeah, the games both have great music, great gameplay, and depending on which one you like the best, but, but if you're a more strategic person, person, Final Memorials Warriors is your cup of tea, as long as you don't mind too many Fates characters. Uh, on the other hand, though, High War Warriors is definitely a good tribute to the series. On one single point, though, it's too... It been there, done that. Uh, when I say that, that is, you travel from time to time. Now, that, now not that that's a bad thing, but you do that a lot in Ocarina of Time. And yeah. A, and a little bit of Majora's Mask, too, because I remember you had to travel back in time to certain days and periods and all that, so... You relied a little too much in the N64 era for that for the part of that game, Kumio Tech. No offense. Another thing, if you want the better roster for the for Warriors games, all those two, hey, to say it, High Warriors and Advantage. <laughs> Sadly... Because you can't already tell, Ethan does not like fates. <laughs> I don't mind some characters, but not to that extent. Oh, yeah, like somebody else I know. <laughs> Cameo! <laughs> uh, anyways, but yeah, they're both great games. Alright, look away! And... All right, Ethan, let's see if you can what get... What number we're on right now? Number 18, I believe. Hold on, let me double check. Nope, scratch that. That was 17. Okay, okay. just checking. Okay, number 17. This one I'm going to make sure you're stumped. This is a game you hate the prequel to, but you love the sequel. Oh, I know what this is. I got a suspicious feeling I know what this is, folks. Beta one. Replace that one, one with another number. Hmm? Not that one? 
It's not Bayonetta 1, it's Bayonetta... 2? Ding, 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 ding! Oh, oh, okay, I'm on the, I'm on the right track. <laughs> Just on the right track, folks. Yeah, you are off by a number there. Uh, but yeah, Bayonetta 2 is on the list. Uh, because the game, that was the f- first game that me and Ethan both played. And the combat is great and all that. At, but come on, Platinum Games. Seriously, don't make the, you're making me confused. Yeah. The reason I say that is, spoiler warning, not. Uh, apparently at the end of the game, it shows the Bayonetta 1 logo. And then I get confused like, wait. Did I just play a prequel? That's just swapping me with, while well, I was playing this one game, and those of you who already know, I did this on YouTube. Oh, I don't know if it's uploaded yet, but one game that reminds me of something. Reminds me of Tales of Best Rare. And I found out that I played a prequel of Tales of Zedria. Mm, this is crazy. There, there, buddy, there. Yes, you can see platinum. Uh, as you can see, that's what ticked me off the most. Other than that, though, like I said, the gameplay and combat and the music is great, especially Tomorrow's Mine. By the way, if you've listened to either that one or Smash Mix, perfect theme. Perfect theme. Uh, all right, look away. All right. This is a tie between one Mario game and three Pokemon spin offs what you want to have, like your fans guess or the... I'll have the fans guess the Mario one, and then I'll have you guess the free Pokemon spin-offs. Alright, so we're technically number 16. Alright, so the t- so the tie of the Mario game. Here's a hint, guys. One, it's a Wii game, and there's a lot of Mario Wii games, so... Gotta think here. Two, ooh, it's a very popular Mario Wii game, and... Lee, e, well, let's just say it features Mario, Luigi, and two other characters. That's all I can say. All right, give you ten seconds. For the Mario funds, and I'll take care of the second tie. Time's up. There you go. All right. The answer to that one is New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Super Mario Bros. Wii. Oh, yes. That one's a classic game. Everyone wanted to play that. We played that one with Ethan because it brought back so many memories and it's the only other good Mario game other than the DS installments. Because it was trash in my opinion. Uh, uh, I see. You at least have unique music, but that's about all I'll give you for the Wii U installment of that series, Nintendo. Because, I mean, the Wii U in general is garbage. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, um, other than that, that I just really love New Super Mario Bros. Wii, especially the music, which is so darn catchy. Come on, Nintendo, stop it here. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, uh, but, yeah. Um... Oh, and the gameplay is simple enough that anybody can play it, too. That's probably why it's so popular. Well, that and all the mods and hacks that have come out for this game. So, yeah, that's mainly why I like Super Mar- New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the music and the gameplay mainly. Okay, the next... Now, you're going to have to really think hard about this one, buddy, because I'm naming these three series as a whole. I see. One of them has to do with toys. One of them has to do with... An- Capturing Pokemon, but not in the usual way. And one of them has to, has to do with, well, looking through some kind of cave. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it's something with a toy. I think I know one hint out of it. It's got to be the Rumble series. I guess I, I guess, guess I was a too lean forward of a hint. Whoops. Uh, okay, so it was a Rumble, but however... Which game it is? All the level series for this one. Oh. Alright. Now you have two two other series because it's a tie between three. Oh jeez. Why do you have to put three in a one one number? Yeah, because I couldn't cho- choose between uh, between uh, any installments. Well, the U installment I give a slide off of, but yeah, I couldn't choose between the other installments because I played all three of three of well. Two, 
to three of the other series, but you get the picture. The other two I just gave you a hint. I'll repeat them again. One of them has to do with capturing Pokemon, but not in the usual way, and the other one has to do with exploring a cave. Oh, I know this is. I know the one. Let's just say Rizgus is obsessed with this one spin-off that is called Pokemon Rangers. Hey! No, obsessed is the wrong word for that. Oh, yeah? How many, how many times I hear that? Many times you say it. Uh, name one time. Oh, every time you see him, Pokemon Rangers, you talk about it. You go, oh, I love Pokemon Rangers. I love this. I love this. I love that. <laughs> and you will just get that off. <sighs> Guilty. All right. And what's the second series? What's that again? The more hint. Uh, looking through a cave. Oh, uh, that. Looking through the cave. And you like one of the installments in this series, too. Oh, yeah. Poke, Pokey Park. And wrong! You're, you're getting warmer, though. Same concept. Oh, yeah. What is it? I know. I know what that is. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Ding, 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 ding! Correct the moon, though. It's a tie between the Ranger, Mystery Dungeon, and Rumble series. Well, the fans are going to be like, which of those games you're talking about? If I had to choose a specific one, it'd be too hard. Hard. <laughs> That's why I put all three series series on there because, well, I played all the installments of the Rumble series from you to world. Uh, <laughs> I'm clueless. What about you, people? <laughs> I am so clueless, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> I'll explain in a minute. Uh, and the other, and I played all Ranger, though if I had to choose one, Guardian Signs would be the representative for that, because I love that one. Um, and for Mystery Dungeon, that be explores of time and darkness easily. Like, yeah, even though I played all the way up to uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. But, um, yeah, yeah, uh, the reason why I represented those three series is because it explores the many ways that Pokemon just doesn't need to focus on the main series, but also the side series. There are three very great series that I really think that Nintendo needs to use more, especially Ranger. We haven't had a sequel since the DS. Mm -hmm. uh, thankfully, Super Mystery Dungeon has a 3DS, so I can see them going there, but where to go from there? Super Mystery Dungeon was a really all-out game, so I'm not sure where they're gonna go from there. Um, as for Rumble, just anything but, uh, just give me anything but world. Please, Nintendo, I beg of you. <laughs> I beg of you. Okay. <laughs> uh, but the reason why I like all three, Ranger, Capture Stylus, Nuff said, and the music. I figured. Hey! All right. <laughs> the second reason, Rumble, well, as Ethan's told me a couple times before, and I would admit this, I'm a little bit childish. <laughs> see? See? I'm willing to admit I am a little bit childish. But not too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a feeling that Eve is probably gonna talk to me about that later. Uh, and the third, and uh, for Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon, I just really like going around as Pokemon. Guess what my partner? Guess who? What Pokemon I choose to be as all the time? I figured. <laughs> How many times I figured that'll be Pikachu. <laughs> I figured. Hey, to be fair. There, you always choose the car. You always catch a the car, yo. So, how many times? <laughs> Don't come across against me. <laughs> oh man! All right, but yeah, that's why I like all three series. They just really represent the other after's boots that I think Pokemon could really be successful in. And, and I like them all because of their unique gameplay, too. Now, Nintendo, please use those more on the Switch, because while Pokemon is a big focus for the main series, the side series can really help. Oh, and while you're at it, make another Coliseum-style game. Please. Oh, <laughs> well, it's like a movie with one certain game. Yeah. All right. 
And... Okay, buddy. This one's gonna stuck ya. Alright, so this game is a 3 game, game, and I'm gonna have the fans guess it first, first to see if they got it. What's the one clue in the riddle? The clue is, it has something to do with a farming series. A farming series? Farming series. Oh, 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 I know what this one is, but I'll let you guys guess. Alright, let's see if you guys got it. Five seconds, like always. Eh. Time's up! Alright, buddy, what do you think it is? The answer to that question I know is Sun of Harnessed Moon. Harvest Moon, Sky, Chee, uh, Sky Tree Valley Village. Nice! Man, you know me well. <laughs> well, like I said, like I said, I actually mean them. Why? Memorize in no, no time. Yeah. Explain to me that why you have to always do that to me every time I always get it right. <sighs> Anyways, Sketchy Village is one of my favorite Harvest Moon ga games so far. Even if people say it's uh, se story seasons better, don't ask. It's a long story. Let's just say that both technically the same series, but just different names. That's the best way I can explain it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the music is very relaxing and the farming is very relaxing too. It goes at a slower pace, slow pace, so it's really only meant for those who just want to chill and lay back. Yeah, and that's why I like it. Sometimes I just need a break from YouTube, you know? Uh, all right. Right. Well, now, what's number we're going to be? All right. No, we're going to be at number... That's actually it for now. Now, okay, buddy, your turn. Alright, let's see. We have to 20. Now we're on number 19. Yep, and you're going to go from 19 all the way to 10, and then I'll finish off with, uh, finish off with 14 to 10. Alright, so anyway, we're going to go to is, is the number 19. This one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that this will be another, another questions of like what we did last video I mean, those of you remember that i already put it mm, from a part part one of this this best whole time i remember i put it the 22 spot which is star wars star starfighter you guys already got that one but number 19 again this is some do with another star wars i get but this time i'm giving you three again Exactly, exactly, since you already guessed the first, if you already guessed the first one from the last part, then only leaves three left. Say your free get free again, Ethan. Again, obviously I were giving the two, either between Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, which is from the uh, Lucas Arts. Not EA. VP. Not EA. And lastly, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. I'll give you ten seconds to guess. All right, and what's the answer? The answer to the question is, let me pull up that picture, shall we? <laughs> That'll be the answer to that number 19 question. It will be, <laughs> give me a second. Aha, there it is. It's, the, the, the question is, this one. Star Wars Battlefront, the original, not the EA trash. Yup. If those of you are curious, ooh, what's so good about this game? I think those of you are like, well, back in the PlayStation 2 fans, I think you'll figure why I like this game. Well, the reason why I put that one as number 19, well, I could see you go on field calls all the time, and you go like TIE Fighters and X-Wings, <laughs> Also, you can capture like command post, and that's really fun. It's kind of like Iowa Warriors, you capture keeps. But this one is much more different. It's like actually another shooting game, too. So, I would say those times were fun. Yeah. And, and not even Michael Jones' actions way back then, too. 
Yeah, unlike a netto like a, unlike a netto game we know. <coughs> Battle Fuck <of> Two. <coughs> mm-hmm. Uh, all right, next game. All right, next game we got is number eighteen. Let's just say for this one, this is about the final boom game this time. Uh, uh. Number eighteen is gonna be something that everyone knows. If those of you know about, well, this one character from Smash Brothers, you should maybe look it up in the history. You should know what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm just gonna give you that hint. Mm. One civic character came from this one game. That's it. Oof, and he didn't specify which Smash. Reason why I don't say it because is it obvious? Mm, to you at least. Yeah, well, that doesn't give you too much of a hint because it could mean either blah, blah, melee, or smash four. Actually, you could say you could say brawl. Blah. Oh, that nails it down. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. This probably has to do with one of Ice Games. <laughs> yes, but which one? But I'll let the fans guess this one. All right. Just so you guys know, it's either Pavilions for the GameCube, right? Or Radiant Dawn for the Wii. I mean, don't get me wrong. That one is... I like that one, too. But we'll see what you guys guessed. And this results will surprise you. All right. Five seconds. All right. Answer, bud. The answer to that is... Five of them have the Radiance. Surprise, huh? Yeah, I bet a couple of you were thinking Ethan was going to say Radiant Dawn. Okay, maybe the game was longer, was good, but I don't think you ever want to really know about Final Boss. <laughs> I found out that Final Boss wasn't even that tough as the uh, Radiant Dawn. Oh. But even though Radiant Dawn was more tough, but Path of Radiance, I mean, I mean, it's tough, but not as tough as Radiant Dawn. Ah, I see. I like that. I like that you can actually you can level up with all these exper- like extra experience points to them. One character to more levels. That was good. But um, but the soundtracks, it's fantastic. Some of them are kind of some actually some of them are actually kind of fantastic. Or even against the the Black Knight theme, that was good. Oh, uh, that does not have hikes theme in there. If you guys are wondering, what's the hikes theme come from? The Smash Brothers. It came from Fathom Path of Radiance. It's called I uh, Yeah, I just remembered. But yeah. And that Ooh, that's a story. Actually I learn pretty much pretty well with Hike in that story. That's how I, that's why I like about that story. Yeah, although the one thing he probably give the con is that final boss. Which was oh probably one of the hardest bosses he's ever faced in the history of final bosses. Yep. <sighs> Okay, so yeah, that's Fire Emblem, uh... Path of Radiance. Path of Radiance. Next game. Next one is something to do with, uh, let's say number 17. I'll let the fans guess this one. Alright fans, you should know this one. This is a Smash Brothers game this time. Oh. Well, I'm, giving you, I'm giving you up to four games this time. You have a choice of the original one from the N64, Smash Brothers... Melee. And there's another thing you guys will. Get. There's another thing you should maybe think. Think about when did I mention this was my first Smash Bros. games in history I ever played. Think about that. And next one is Blah. And then finally, Smash 4 for 3DS and Wii U. Yep. All right. Alright, for those who got Smash 4, come on guys, seriously? You really think we just started playing Smash? Ah, pfft, pfft. How do you think I'd be giving Sonic Bean in the first place? Or you could say, ah, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right. what is it? It's <clears throat> Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now a lot of you are probably saying, why do you like that unbalanced mess of a game? 
<laughs> uh, guys, how do you think you became a Final Fantasy fan in the first place? Exactly. He's got the true point, you know. He's got the true point. All right. Other than that, though, why do you like Blah? Okay, okay. Those of you who are curious are like, what's, a, what's good about the music? Well, the music and the main theme is beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, I agree with that. So I won't buy them Smash Bros. is a close second. Or even final, De- or even final Des- destination theme was beautiful too. Yeah, for bo- both Smash Four and Blah, they are pretty good, but Blah is a little bit higher than that. Yep. Uh, but uh, or even the story was pretty good too. Yeah, the story was pretty good too. Sadly, though, I think Street Fighter kind of tops it at this point because of the overratedness of that game. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, or even though, even though we have like some characters are kind of like. Ugh. Oh yeah, I already know some characters, but but that's not where that uh that's not at the time that I hated Captain Falcon. No, no, that's not at the time anyway. I respect him from that start. Until the whole trailer uh, happened with you know who. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that's a story for another day. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so yeah. Uh, even likes blah. Okay, next game. Next game is number sixteen, and let's see. Should I do them both this time? Mm, I guess. Uh oh. Okay. Hey, I'm ready. Number sixteen. Let's just say this is another PlayStation One classic I ever played, and it's something to do with. Mm, oh, I should give one hint. It's one of those underrated games that not a lot of people talk about to this day. Hmm. I'm gonna take a guess, but after the fans guess first. Ten seconds. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Perfect. Done. All right. And I think I know what it is. What is it? Bitzel Blade. Which Bitzel Blade? Man, he's got it. <laughs> he remembers it from the top of his head. Of course, the first time I did it, he was like, What's that game? <laughs> you don't have to remind me. <laughs> oh, we said think. Oh, by the way, is Crash 3 on the list? Which one? Crash 3. Mmm, it's somewhere, but not yet. I thought so. Just so they don't make a mistake. Stay I can figure it's Clash 3, I, I guess that during the last two recordings, I still can't figure out where it was. Alright, anyway. So why do you like Bitter Blade 2? Alright, if you guys are wondering what the cover is for the game, it looks like this one. This is a PlayStation 1 classic I used to play almost a lot. Okay, anyway, let's just say this is something to do with the game that actually you can choose several characters that go through the story, and also sometimes a new character, a new mystery character, comes in and you can fight against one of those ninjas with the katanas or um, nakatas that look like a spearish weapon. And um, and also there's like, yeah, one of the characters can use two, two katanas, I remember. Ooh. Ooh, katanas. Me lucky. Yeah, there was one thing that gave me the struggle is there was this one boss I remember at the end. Which one's the toughest? Mm, it's been a while I play the game. It's been a while I play the game. The only thing I can remember is this one guy with, uh, we were in the shrine. Oof. I remember one boss I remember. You have to hit one of the guys in the back. You have to bump him and use his sword like this. Slash him down in his back, you could kill him. That was tricky. And the other one? Mm, I say the other one's tougher than the first final boss I mentioned. I know, I know, it's hard to explain, but I try my best to explain as I could. That's totally fine, bud. Alright, right. Next game! Alright, next one is. Actually, number 15. Shouldn't surprise music is in the moment. But for you, we'll find out. 
I think I'll let the fans guess this one because you know the obvious. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on the hint, but we'll see. Alright, for number 15 is something to do with the series has died since the last latest game in the last couple of years it's on the PlayStation 3 installment. And lastly, it's the main character that is a thief. That is a thief. Now I got it. <laughs> All right, like you got you PlayStation buffs should know what Ethan's talking about. And that's of course you're f thinking about the spiral or something. Uh, last time I know, last time I remember, the only thing that Dragon Store was an appetite. Easy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so oh, five seconds. Done. I the answer to that one is Sly Cooper One, the Thievius Raccoonus. <laughs> As you can see, musicals hates that one. <laughs> mm. So when we get to the worst of all time, I'll do my explain. But for now, why do you like that one? That one? Oh man, there's just some mysteries that you get. It was really fun, and also. Facing against clockwork, oh man, fighting the jet, the final boss, was so much fun. I thought, I remember the first time playing it, I thought it was tough, but I actually got through this game a couple more times, I thought it would be more easier, because I've been playing that game a lot, I used to. My favorite, my favorite one that I had to face the Phoebus 5, I remember, my favorite one to face was some to do with hmm, I would say what was it Flame Panda I think Flame Panda he was more fun to, to face in my opinion because you're gonna have to like figure out what he's gonna do Hota Fanda I retrieve <laughs> I remember that part so for so for sure uh, yeah I can see why you like it then all right next game Oh, one more thing before I get to the next one. I I don't know what it means. I've ever seen this one part. It's actually one of those rhythm. You have to press a button like when it shoots out like X X O O W uh, triangle triangle. Oh, I just love that one too. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's move on. Sorry. Number fourteen is another Star Wars game, and this time you got two more left. That was the. Leave Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out. You mean Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. Oh, right. You, Battlefront 1 was earlier. Okay. So, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Jedi Starfighter. That's what's left. That'll be my number 14. Uh, so, guess out of these two. All right. Done. All right. What's the answer? The answer to that question will be. I'm gonna show you the picture. Of what's gonna be my number fourteen of this? And this, uh, you will find out soon enough. Soon enough. Just you watch. Mm hmm. I say this one. That's Je the answer. Jedi Starfire! Nice answer, bud. Mm-hmm. If those of you are wondering, hey, what about Star Wars Battlefront 2? Well, guys, I'll explain it after I explain why I say Star Wars Jedi Starfire is my number 14. And this is a very ironic too, <laughs> because of... Well, we'll get to that in a minute. All right, explain. Why do you like Jedi Starfire? Let's just say in that one, oh, it's so... I think I think in this one, it's a little bit more... You actually you have to... I try to explain the whole gameplay. is like, let's say the gameplay looks a little bit much better, but this is like, this is like a cool stuff based off from like... Star Wars 2, I remember, Attack of the Clones. That is based off somewhere close to that story, but it is a different story from the from the from the movie, guys. I but see. instead, it's a character made it's a Jedi. she's a Jedi, I remember. 
I forgot her name. It's been a while I played the game too. And the one returning character that came back was what was that one character? Ah, oh, it's been a while. Like I told you. Yeah. And like I said in the previous part, if you guys want to check out uh, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, as well as Jedi Starfire, I think, you can go to Xbox's website or onto the Xbox store, and they're now available for backwards compatibility, along with my personal favorite, MX vs. MX Unleashed. Yeah, and I found out that that was a little bit more funner than I was playing the Star Wars Star Starfighter. I found that to be more funner, if that's the case. I see. And also, there was more modes, like, you could actually be, like, a TIE Fighter, or there's always, like, a few more few more Starfighters types that you could play as, or even a gunship. Oh, yes! That's a, that's a big plus. That's why I like that one better. Okay, now we'll get to the reason why Star Wars Battlefront 2 is not on the list list this time and this also and this is also very ironic <laughs> to me because Ethan also dislikes the EA version of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and he likes the one versions better so explain why you dislike Star Wars Battlefront 2 to the LucasArts version because you guys know why he hates Battlefront 2 to EA well well it's not I don't dislike the game it's just however it's not I dislike the game Let's just say there's a little bit more of a little over Ray-ish than the first one. And the first one's kind of like, yeah, I mean, you're going on space most of the time. I like that, but everything else has kind of made me a little, hmm, that made me make, make, make me, make me more bored, bored quick. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's the exact re reason. Of course, it's a totally different reason for EA version of Battlefront 2. Yeah, it's not I don't like that one for Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's none of that. It's nothing like that. I like it. It's just I don't put it in there just because that's not my favorite, favorite, favorite game like Renix 2 Star Wars Battlefront 1. So, unfortunately, I haven't even, like, I enjoyed it, but not as much as the first one. Exactly. That's why I say it's ironic because for totally different reasons, Ethan likes the first one better, better than the other for both EA and LucasArts. So, don't know what it is wrong, but whatever. I know. I know. All right, next one. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, why Ethan's doing that? That that I should let you guys know some of the other things that we're working off the list is uh, worst of all time. And we're also working on a brand new series, but I'm not saying anything. Let's just say it has to do with our favorite video game series. Uh, <laughs> Mine, Sonic, his Fire Emblem. That's all I'm saying. Uh, all right. So, yeah. Number 13 is going to be something to do with, well, I'll let the fans guess. All right. But for you, I think you really know. All right. I'll probably get it from the hit like I did with uh, Sly Cooper, so let's do this. For this one, this is for the fans, folks. Alright, so for this one, number 13 is... It's something to do with my first Mario Kart game. And it's well known, and I found that to be most fun, fun, fun Mario Kart I ever played. Alright, so for the popular service in the series, in terms of classics in recent times, that would either be uh, N64, uh, Mario Kart 64... The uh, Double Dash, Wii, 7, and 8 slash 8 Deluxe. So that leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 installments, I think. Mm hmm. What about the. What about Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 8, and. Um... I said Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 8 slash 8 Deluxe. Okay. So it's one of those 5, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below if I didn't say 5. But. There were those five, I think, so we'll give you, ironically, five seconds. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Done. And the answer is... If those of you are guessing this is, like, Mario Kart Deluxe, I hate to say it. As good as the game is. Come on, guys. Come on. That's not my first Mario Kart game. You don't even know me that well. I didn't even say a word yet. If you guess Double Dash, 
guys, me and Ethan have GameCube games that we like. We won't lie. Well, to be honest, I didn't own a GameCube at the time before I had a friend gave me one, but I didn't get the game. So, it's not that one. And if you got seven, okay, you right. That is Ethan's, uh, that's one of Ethan's first games, but not his first Mario Kart game. His first 3DS game, yes. But that's not the answer, which leaves one answer left. Is, get ready for this, Mario Kart Wii. That's right, Mario Kart Wii. And that's my personal favorite too, but I decided to exclude it from the list because... Uh, so rated? Sadly, yeah, and I didn't want to co co copy off of probably thousands of people's lists. So That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So, Mario Kart, Kart Wii, why do you like it? Well, you see, this game right here is... Let's say you can actually drive with a... With a wee wee wheel, and I remember that there's actually tons and tons of characters you can choose choose from, and also you can actually go for like a stages or like fun if you do the Grand Prix that is, and also they have like a classic classic. Oh, also there's one stage that I missed from that game was Funky Kong City. I remember that was fun for the battle mode. Oh, and from the regular mo mo one I really want back again, get is DK Snow, uh, Snow, uh, DK Pass. Yeah, I missed that. I missed those stages. Those stages were well known. Come on, Nintendo, bring them back for Mario Kart 9 or maybe 8 Deluxe DLC, please! Exactly. Uh, I would literally go crazy if that happened, but. It's Nintendo, so I don't want to get my hopes up, do I? If you want to know some of our other favorite and least favorite stages, on, oops, on Ethan's side, click on the card below, above, and you'll see a list of a video with our favorites, least and least favorites from 7, 8, DS, and Wii, Wii for both battle mode and regular stages, so be sure to check out that video as well. We did it a while back, so some of our opinions may or may or not change, so we may redo it in the future, but not right now. But that's a bit, some pretty good reasons why you like uh, Wii, buddy. Yep. Uh, Alright, next game. Number 12. Musicals already known this one. So, another fan guess? Yes. Got it! Alright, for this one, this is another game for number 12 is for me is that one game that is another another well-known slash not main series pokemon game and this is one of the classic pokemon games that lots and lots of people talk about but how much i don't know but there's there's two there's actually i'll give you three games to guess just because those are the games I know and they're like close to Pokemon Stadium-ish like. Pokemon XD? Pokemon Coliseum. And Pokemon Battle Revolution. Those I could give you. Because now that you have to guess. Mm-hmm. Alright, we'll give you mm, I'm feeling 15 seconds. Okay. Alright, 15 seconds. Time's up! Alright! And so if you guessed Pokemon Mine Coliseum Guys, that's That's his side. <laughs> Sorry. Uh if you guessed Pokemon Battle Lo Revolution Okay, I used to like it back then, but Same. there's one kind of we both don't like. That's for another time. Yeah, but that's for another time. Uh if you guess Pokemon XD, you're on the lucky, lucky curveball. You got that correct. Po Pokemon XD is the next game on this list. Pokemon XD, the glow of darkness. When I first played the game on the GameCube, oh man, there was one K character that is the fun main main Michael, I remember. You can actually custom with your own MAME. And I remember some soundtracks were, were really good. 
and also some Pokemon battles were pretty fun. I found that to be fun. I found that to be most unique, and also when you actually choose, actually there's one one Pokemon you have to really have to choose. Well, not you have to choose, but you have to actually have. You actually have already automatically was Eevee. Is this? Yeah, strangely enough, Coliseum and XD both used Evolutions, as they're called nowadays. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool that both games showed off Eevee's unique Pokemon skills. For e uh, for Coliseum, just so you guys know, you had Espeon and Umbreon. But for this one, you had the choice of evolving your Eevee into three different types of Pokemon. Either... Uh, uh, Jolteon, which is my personal favorite. There's actually more than just that, I remember. Uh, and is um... Let's see, you got, you got Jolteon, you got Fupreon, you got... Phaleon! Not Leafeon. Leafeon's not even there. Yeah, this is, just so you guys know, in case you were wondering... Or uh, also Glaceon, too, don't forget. Oh, yeah, Glaceon as well. So anything before Gen 4 does not exist. Yeah, so say you got Jolton, Fubrion, Flamein, uh, Fumpri Umbreon, and... Espeon. Yeah, yeah. So yep. you got those. Yep. You can choose any of those EV illusions, I think, in XD, if I'm correct. But uh, in Coliseum, you only have Umbreon and Espeon. Yep. So, yeah, I can understand why you like it so much. Oh, especially Minor Beans theme. Oh, yes. And Coliseum, his theme was... Ah, it's <laughs> terrible. It's so terrible. I found that to be XD most enjoyable. Yes, that one's much better, in my op personal opinion, in Ethan's. Because that one reminded me, reminds me nowadays of Team Skulls. And that one right there, you just listen for XD? That sounds like a disco to me. That sounds like it's a better one to me. Yeah, yeah. I found that to be the I could dance into when I battle against him. <laughs> All right. Now I guess we can t uh, tune a little bit of that theme. Theme. Let me just snap my fingers and bamo. Yeah, mind of being disco music for our next couple song, next couple of games. Yep. All right. Next game, buddy. Next game. Ooh, we gotta get get going fast because of that. Oh boy. Number eleven is. I think Musku probably knows at this point, but I'll say it out this time. This one right here, this is a Plasian 2, 2 classic I played. I found that to be fun again. And that one is actually a little bit of like a Fenter, Fent, uh, adventure. And also, also like, you can play multiplayer in there too. Also, you can play with ships. Pirate ships. And also... There is one character that is a female character. Legend of the Black Cat. I said, let the fans guess. Oops. Still in the moment. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'll say it anyway. <laughs> I think Musicals already gets it, but the first time you didn't know what that is. <laughs> <sighs> I knew it wasn't Sea of Thieves, though, because Sea of Thieves, that's a modern day pilot game. Uh, but this one. Oh my gosh, I saw gameplay of it. I can see why Ethan likes it so much. <laughs> yeah, and also you can play like ships, like like you go like ladder types of ships. You're a gunship, and you're... I remember the types of the ships you have to be if you're playing multiplayer. Oh man, we need more pilot type games. Oh yeah, that game right there I, I actually liked the most was this one. Because the one thing I liked adventure is you go on ships and you take on the pirate ships and battle. Or even Captain Hawk, not Hulk, Hawk. Like, like you have a bird. Kah, kah. This is the game. Yep, Pilots the Legend of Black Cat. Sorry, buddy, I'll let the fans get the last one, okay? Alright, this one right here, however, her name is Katharina. That's her name. Yeah, but her pilot name is Black Cat. Kind of like a black cat, you know, the whole... Bad luck superstition thing, which I don't believe in, by the way. Okay. I'll let those hands get the last one, for sure. Alright, very good. Alright, next one is... Ooh. I'll tell you this, though. This is uh, the one that you guys are probably already know, like, my top ten was. 
This is the one you guys know. Last year, I mentioned him almost a lot of times last year. And just remember, the time that you saw the, the most rage I have with this fun video is about one certain company. <clears throat> and also, and I found that to be my favorite, my favorite Civic game all time. Woo, you nearly said the name. All right, I'll get... I have a feeling I'll no, know what he's talking about, but I'll give free RPG series just to be safe. He's either talking about Persona 5 from the Persona series, Fire Emblem Echoes from the Fire Emblem series, or Nier Automata from the Nier series. I'll give you five seconds to guess. Time's up! And the answer is... Fuck Persona 5! Yep. If Last you, surprise! Yep. If you guessed Echoes, well, it's not on the list, buddy. Hate to say it, folks. It isn't. And we haven't played Neo Automata yet. Yet we should! Uh, so, that one isn't it either. So it's Persona 5. And... Well, if you really want to see Ethan's rant video to see what he was ranting about the game, here's the card, but I should warn you. Oh, uh, yeah, the card's over. Uh, that uh, shoot. It was it over over here? Yep, it's above Ethan. So be sure to check it out. <laughs> like I said, yeah, that video will explain why Ethan's ranting. Uh, but why don't you tell him what you do like about Persona Five? Obviously, you already know one reason is a soundtrack. Obviously, one reason. And there were other things. Well, I found that to be more awesome than... I found the, the, the gameplay of it and the art style of the game was so beautiful that I think to myself, I found just the game that I love the most. Yeah, I think that about sums it up, bud. <laughs> yeah, and then there's some of bosses were kind of a little bit tough. But um, surprisingly, the final boss of that one, surprisingly, I found that to be much easy. Yeah, probably. Even if, even if it took me a long time to beat that boss, because I already predicted what that final boss is going to do. And I had to take down his weakness, his, his arms. His arms. The goddess arms. I'm so weird. But, but the whole thing of it is, I found that game to be much beautiful. And, well, not beautiful. Much fun, in my opinion. Yep. Now, me and Ethan will try Persona 4 and see. But so far, our opinions of both the soundtrack and the gameplay for Persona 4. The 4 soundtrack is okay, and the gameplay so far is... <laughs> uh, not so good, in my personal opinion. Other people seem to like it, including a certain YouTuber I so ha just so happen to know. <laughs> Cyclone X... <laughs> Uh, but, um, hey, more power to you? You? Uh, personally, I do not like it so far. Yeah. But Persona 3? I found that game to be much, a little bit more better when I saw the gameplay. And Mass Destruction? Already my favorite. <laughs> Me, I'm like... If it doesn't like the beginning of the song, I don't blame him. The beginning of the song would kind of turn me off a little. But that's okay. Uh... But, yeah, okay, now for my top ten. Well, well, four, 14 to ten. <laughs> okay. Before we get to mention number nine, our next final part of this best of the whole time. All right. Okay, then, uh, number 14 is another tie. All right, is it going to be the fans guess or me guess or both? For the first two, it will be the fans guess. The next two will be the you guess, and the final one, final couple, will be everybody guess. So, slow down. Yeah, how many games are going to be on, like, a number top of number 14? One, two, three, four. Five? So, oh, right, just four. So, just you two guess, and just the fans guess. I see. Okay, you ready? Mm hmm So, for number 14... This game is a game that you and I both like, but we don't really like it as well because of the motion controls. And it's a popular 
game that was the best of the game of all time, but got knocked off by Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I know one game. I remember one game. I'll give you three best-selling games to give an example. One, Overwatch. Two, Wii Sports. Uh, slash Wii Sports Resort. And three, hmm, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. All right. All right, I'll give you only three seconds this time. Time's up. Yep, I already know the answer, so I'll let Musicus answer this one for you. Okay, so if you guess Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, I mean, yes, I have played the games on 3DS, but that's not the answer. And if you guessed Overwatch, me and even I've played Overwatch for eh, maybe three to four weeks. Well, as of this video's recording. Uh, so that's not the answer either. The answer is Wii Sports slash Wii Sports Resort. Yeah, that was a good game, I'll be honest. I mean, I haven't put that in the game on the list due to one reason. It's all overrated. And motion controls. Or even families play it. Or even, like, the senior citizens play the game. Yeah, this game's literally everywhere. But the reason I like it is because, well, there's some sword fighting in the game that I really like. I used to play that mode all the time when I was a kid. That well, that and the 100 pin pinballing. That was a good mode. Now... Make us a true sequel to that one, Nintendo. Oh no, with Switch Sports, if you do it, do it because we Sports Club was <coughs> garbage. <coughs> yeah, or even like you guys put it one two Switch to be in there. <sighs> this is not the true game, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, or even Flip Trash, any wars. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, okay. So the tie was that one. Let me look again. Okay, I got it. So, this one has something to do with a magical game. I have a feeling this is. And it's a Disney game. Get I also have a feeling for this, but I'll let the fans guess. Yep, and then the next two will be your guess. Alrighty then. So, so it's on the 3DS as well, so I'll give you three games that are magical. One... Hmm, think of a magical game from, oh, I know, Fantasy Life. Two, Disney Magical World, or, f and three, uh, let me see, thinking, thinking. Was thinking. it Disney Magical World 2 or something? Uh, I want to think of a, ah, I know, Fire Moment Echoes. Oh, okay. Uh, no, scratch that, I'll make it awakening. Uh, alright, so, I'll give you five seconds. Time's up! And if you guys guess Fallen Way King for him, hate to say it, that is, that is, <sighs> come on guys, he doesn't even like that game as I do. He pretty much summed it up. Uh, if you, now if you guessed, what was the other game I mentioned? You did mention about, what was it? You mentioned oh, Fantasy Life. Fantasy Life. If you guessed Fantasy Life, Okay, I do love the game, but sadly it's not on this list. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, it, the answer then is Disney Magical World. Reason is, I love magical ga games like that. And Wii Sports has the magic to it too, so that's why I tied it. Uh, but Disney Magical World has a g sort of great story. I was going to put Magical World 2 on this list, but I thought that one flew first, and I was like, Ugh. Yeah, I don't feel. Yeah, I don't like it because of one certain ser certain movie series on there. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Unfortunately, <laughs> Frozen. That's better. Ugh. And because of that, and the reason we dislike it is because of that one song, which I will not mention. Uh, but yeah, uh, Disney Magical World definitely is. What I call, hmm, a way, a uh, simple way to get used to the world of Disney if you're new to the, uh, new to it. So yeah, I would highly recommend Disney Magical World, world One and Two if you're interested in the series. All right, look away, buddy. You only got two more. Uh, scratch that. Three more. So the last. So the last one. 
I'll have you and the fans guess. But, uh, aha! Uh, the ne this next one is a strategy game that's on Switch. Mm -hmm. And that uh, you and I both played. I know this is. I know, I know. I know this one, guys. Uh, and this one has something to do with something you keep doing sometimes. I know what this is. Go ahead, guess it then. It's. <laughs> Ryan Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. You said it right for once this time. <laughs> uh, but yes, my Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Reason is, all oh, the music, why it's some, some of it's eh, it's still, a little, it's still fantastic sometimes. Um, especially the other world music, which has a remix of Princess Peach's Castle, too. Um, but yeah, personally, I do lo love that game. And strangely enough, Nintendo added that one as a, a Lab of Peach as a Just Dance it's game? Yeah, I know, I know. This is strange, strange. But hey, you know what? I like the game, however, I haven't put the game on the list, unfortunately. Yeah, My Lab of Kingdom Battle is definitely great. Short game, but great. It was the Donkey Kong DLC coming. And by the way, DK is a playable character this time, so... Ooh, hike train! Too bad I lost Stephen's copy of the game! Well, I think we get it at this point. Yeah. Alright! Look away! Okay, buddy! This one has to do... This next one is a 3DS game. And it has to do with my obsession of a certain Pokemon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I know this one. I know this one. I know it! Was it Pokemon Yellow? I said 3DS game. That's a virtual console game. <laughs> I'll give you another hint. Done. It has to do with a... Oh, yeah, it's, po uh, it's Pikachu Detective. Or is it Pokemon Pikachu uh, Detective? It's Detective Pikachu. Oh, okay. Uh, but, yes. Reason is, why it's simple, it kind of reminds me of Ace Attorney a little. Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure I look at it, but... Some ways... It doesn't look like you were in the trial in the, in the court all the time. Obviously. Only you were just looking for clues. That's all it is. Yeah, that, that that's what I was talking about. The clue finding part is similar to Ace Attorney, but yeah, no trials. <laughs> Obviously. But it definitely is. And this Pikachu can talk, which is a rarity. Rarity for most Pokemon games. It's, I mean, yeah, you could technically count the Mystery Dungeon series, but they technically don't talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... Yeah. All right. Look away. One more time on number 14. I think we took a little bit longer with this because of that decision of yours. Yep. And this game is one e one that has annoyed me even to death lately. The previous installment of the series was, now that I look at it, very much overhyped. And it's one that we were very upset that was announced in a certain Nintendo Direct that happened earlier this year. Oh, I know this is, unfortunately. All right, I'll let the fans guess. Yeah, I think I'll let them guess. It's Super Smash Bros. 4. And why'd you like that one? Yeah, I just really like the combat and all that. That, I will say, though, little overhyped. Due to the fact that we got this match of Switch installment. <laughs> and when do you think I put Super Smash Bros. Brawl in one of my list? Don't blame you. Uh, but reason is because I was just super hyped to have Sonic back. In case you don't know, guys, he's my Smash main. Well, if he's not in this next one, Link will become my Smash main for that. But, uh, well, but yeah. That's, why, why, that's the reason why. Okay, that's all for... Number 14? No, that was uh, number 10. Ah, I'm getting confused. You should have said the numbers. Sorry. Yes, that is number 10. Okay, okay, okay. Slow down. Remind me of those numbers of those games again, because I am I thought you said all of them were tied. You were confusing me. I see. Okay. So, number 14 was Wii Sports Resort sla uh, slash... Um, hmm. Whatever that game was. Number 13 was, uh, 
Hmm. Ah, Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Number 12 was Detective Pikachu. Number 10 was Super Smash Bros. 4. I mean, 11 was Super Smash Bros. 4. I guess I missed one. Oops. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Guess I got a little excited. <laughs> yeah, that's what it, that I mean. Yeah, that's what I get confused now because you should have said the number. Now I would have known. All right, then number 10. 10. This one will be obvious for you, buddy, because this has something to do with designing and a series that you normally don't touch because of it reminds you of another series from Sims. I know this one, guys. No offense. All right, shoot. It's Animal Crossing, something to do with Animal Crossing. Not a new leaf. It's gotta be something to do with Happy Designer, Home Designer. You got it. Yeah. Happy Home Design. I know. Reason is, well, I'm the designer type type guys. I mean, like I said earlier, you're talking to the guy who likes style savvy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but Happy Home Designer is because I love to design the music for it. So actually, very relaxing on sometimes. So I like it. Um, and that's about it for that one. So, yeah. Okay. Teach another hour. We really got to try to cut it out for the last part. Yeah, what do you think I told you? I thought you said you're going to have all five of them one time. That made me confused. Oh, uh, sorry. It was only a tie for number 14. Uh, okay. That so, was, you said Wii Sports and there was a, what was it? Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. You just said it, like... About the, um, mm, what was what, what was it? What was it? Um, if you could let us know in the comments below what I said, guys. Sorry, short term memory. Well, that's why you gotta make sure you put on the list in there. Yeah. So, Next time. Yeah. Sorry, but definitely for the, the uh, all the way up to the last four, last ones, we'll definitely get. Uh, we'll definitely make sure sure that list is completely finalized. Thank you. <laughs> and this next time, let's make sure we review every single top nine to one next time. So the fans will remember. Got it. All right. That's all for now. This is DJ Music Clues. You then signing out. And y'all have a nice gaming day. See you on the last part of the best game of all time. You bet. <laughs>